Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Profile, Mutant, Playtest, and uh, Combo Guy. So in this video, I'm just going to be showcasing the key cards in Mutants and going through a Combo Guy um, and playtesting of the deck. And obviously because um, there is no side deck, so when we'll get to the next part, which will be deck rating, we will just be talking about, I'll be talking about other things that you can consider for mutants. And with that being said, let's get on with the rest of the video. Let's talk about the main deck with the first uh, main deck monster, one of our key main deck monsters, mutants, Mutant M05. So what is that effect? Please, that's right. So what is that effect? If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add a mutant monster from your deck to your hand. Except Mutant M05, you can tribute this card and banish one card from your hand or face up field to special summon one monster from your hand or deck, based on the banished card. Got to catch them all. If you banish a monster, you get Mutant Beast, banish a spell, get Mutant Mist, banish a trap, you get Mutant Arsenal. So let's look at the targets that you can add with Mutant M05. So Mutant M05 is quite interesting. So you can add uh, mutant monsters such as Mutant SD46 or Mutant GB88. You can add Mutant Mutant. You could also um, special summon it through various ways. Mutant Beast by banishing a mutant monster, Mutant Arsenal by banishing a trap, and Mutant Mist by banishing a spell. And that's really it when it comes to, you know, the mutant monsters that I mention in mutants. Let's move on. Okay, and so we have the next mutant monster, Mutant ST46. So what is this card's effect? If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one mutant spell or trap from your deck to your hand. When nothing ruins the game plan. Um, so what are the mutant spell or traps that you can add? You can be adding this, Mutant Evolution Lab. Or you could be adding this trap, which is one of the uh, best traps, in my opinion, for the mutants have, which is Mutant Cry. I'm getting emotional. Hopefully you'll not be doing that as you play this deck. But essentially, that's pretty much it, really. Okay, so here's our final uh, monster, key monster that I mentioned in Mutant Mutants, which is going to be Mutant Mutant. Now, Mutant Mutant is very important. Um, and one of the things about mutants and how it works is mutants playstyle really is based off of video game boss monsters where we damage where in video games boss monsters usually damage themselves uh, you usually do a lot of damage to a boss monster and the higher damage that you do the stronger that it gets and over time especially with tough boss monsters they have these special attacks and stuff like that so this is a strategy or something that Konami's implemented into mutants but unfortunately it doesn't work I find this rather odd but we see here with their best monster which is a mutant mutant and its effect is is that you can be able to special summon uh, one of the level 8 mutant monsters which is either mutant beast Mutant Arsenal or Mutant Mist. Now, usually you'd be able to, with the ST46 on, and Mutant M05, is that you'd use the effects of tributing it, banishing a monster spell or trap to summon the corresponding level 8 monsters. But what Mutant Mutant does is that you pay life points and uh, uh, you pay life points and then you banish the, the monster spell or trap and then you can just press to summon them directly. And that's essentially how it works. So you pay life points via the attack points of the level 8 monster that you've summoned and uh, that you, you're going to summon and just special summon it on the board. So no pain, no gain really. And that's essentially it. Um, yeah. So let's go to our the secret spice that I personally have in Mutant Mutants. Crossbreed. Now, what is its effect? Banish two monsters from your hand or face up field with the same original type and attribute but different names and add one monster with the same original type and attribute as those monsters but a different name from your deck to your hand. This has got to be the only spell in Yu-Gi-Oh that can work in mutants. There is That's really convenient. 
this is spell in any deck, any other deck, or any other way in Yu-Gi-Oh! is absolute trash. And it's the only deck that it can actually work in, which is a feat in itself. So Crossbreed is a great card for mutants and is one of the best searches that they have in the deck, as all its effects benefit mutants in a significant way. And that's about it when it comes to mutants with their key spells anyway. So let's go to some other keys. We'll talk about Emergency Teleport. Emergency Teleport is a really great card in Mutants as it allows you to special summon from your hand or deck Mutant SD46 or Mutant M05. You're so sexy. And could special summon Mutant Mutant. Being able to special summon a mutant from your hand or deck without committing to a normal summon is definitely really nice and really good and allows you to just go into more plays that you couldn't go to before. So definitely I would say a staple in any mutant deck. This is one of my spicy cards which is DDD Designator. Now is DDD Designator a good card? By all accounts, no. I can't deny that. It's just the truth at this point. It is not the best card and um, the reason why I play this card is because I want to be uh, playing with the playstyle of the deck. The whole point of my mutant deck is to focus on the strengths on mutants. It's not about making it the best deck, it's about making it more mutant-like and actually doing mutant things. Um, so yeah, DD Designator is one of those cards. As even if um, it goes into a minus with its own effect, of banishing, ran, uh, banishing a random card in your hand, mutants as a whole in general want to have their cards banished, as I'm going to mention with the next uh, key field spell after I finish this. But essentially, most of their cards, you want them banished, and your monsters or spells, you want them banished, as that's the way you're going to be recovering them. So the cost of DD Designate, even if it goes wrong, is not that bad for you as a mutant player, as it's sort of like putting recursion in your deck for future purpose. It's not really great, there are better cards, but if we want to follow the uh, mutant, you know, play style and their philosophy of, you know, hurt yourself in order to, with the video game boss analogy, then this card is the card for the deck. Okay, and so here we have the last main deck, um, Mutant spell that we're going to be key mutant spell that we're going to be using in mutants, which is mutant evolution lab. Uh, mutant evolution lab can be added with mutant SD46 on normal or special summon. Um, another thing to take note of is that it allows you to special summon a, a level three or lower, level four or lower mutant monster from your hand or banish them. That's really convenient. This is where the spells that I mentioned, this is where the cards that I mentioned, which was the DDD designator, come into play. If you've somehow managed to banish them, or the or the other card that I mentioned as well, which would be really good, another spell which would be really good, would be the, the uh, crossbreed. Yeah? So with Mutant Evolution Lab, is that crossbreed, you start to see where the pluses are coming in. Um, crossbreed allows you to search, you banish two monsters, and then you add the uh, mutant monster that you need, activate evolution lab, you then get to special summon to then get another search, and you can see where this is going. You'd be able to generate some advantage, so that banishment would have some advantage. Hey, it's not the best advantage, but it's advantage all the same. Um, so really, that's where the mutant uh, evolution lab comes into play. So now let's go over the traps that I play in my mutant cry is the only mutant trap that I play. I don't play any of the other mutant cards because I feel as they're not really good and it doesn't really suit uh, the deck a lot. I can't understand. We can't do this. Mutant uh, fusion spell um, because I feel that's just not the best either. Um, its ability, being able to, during the main phase, fusion summon a mutant fusion monster from your deck by shuffling the fusion materials listed on it into the deck from among your cards on the field in your graveyard is a great a car effect as this allows you to obviously get your guardian yatos which i uh, mentioned before which definitely comes up and is very very useful so it allows you to be able to keep um guardian yatos live and go into those rank eight plays 
if you need to go into them. And you can go into a mutant extra deck boss for you to as well. This card will be mentioned in the extra deck part um, of this video as when we be talking about key extra deck monsters. But anyways, that's pretty much it when it comes to the, mu uh, the mutant trap that we're using. Let's go to our final key trap that we play in mutant. Mutant. No, sorry, in the mutant deck. Okay, and we have a very peculiar trap, a very new card that I've added into mutants. Coming out in Power of Elements, so one of the new secrets that no one's really talking about, and frankly so, because the card is not uh, really much to talk home about. Now, in any other capacity, this card would be trash, and rightly so. I can't deny that. It's just the truth at this point. When you negate an effect, um, you know, destroy that card, and then ra and then you would banish a monster from your hand, and if you do special summon that monster. Now, if this was um, any other any in any other deck, it would be some trash. However, when it comes to mutant mutants, this is actually different, and it might be one of the best ways of doing something. So the ideal is what you'd want to do is you want to banish GB88 while mutant evolution lab is on the field. Um, you'd be searching this end your turn, hopefully set this card if you've been able to draw it on your turn one, and on your opponent's turn, you would then um, activate uh, Mutant Draco Utopian Aura, banish the GB88 from your hand, and then like, you know, on the next turn, you know, special summon it, whatever, do whatever you want to do, and you'd be able to do loads of things. What it does, what this card does for the mutant deck is that it allows mutants to preemptively put a card in the most in the banish pile that they need to be put there, which can access it turn after turn. I um, mean, it negates the card and it sets you up in the future. And this is one of the things that, that needs to be considered with uh, the mutant deck. So obviously, in any other deck, again, this card or in any other capacity, this card is, as I can't reiterate, some trash, but mutants can make it work. And this is one of the things about mutants that's very interesting. They can make a very bad card work because of their weird uh, mechanic. Uh, monsters that we're gonna be uh, making as well. Mutant Synthesis, which we make with uh, Mutant Grunt, Mutant Ultimus, and Topologic Trisbana. Now Topologic Trisbana is one of those cards you have for, you know, for the burn damage. As we can see with its effect is that if a monster is supposed to summon to a uh, link marker, it points to banish all spells and traps to control. Now again, this really works well with the mutant, uh, mutant cards. As you know, they want to be banished. So it's self, you, you're able to self-activate your mutant monsters. As you can see there with Ultimus, Ultimus' effect when it's destroyed, you can add a mutant. Uh, spell, mutant, trap, and a mutant monster from your bandage zone back into your hand upon destruction. Uh, mutant synthesis, you know, it's effect you can, uh, when it's destroyed by battle or card effect, you can add one of your banished mutant cards, you know, back to your hand. So you can see that uh, Trisbana really just gives you that recursion that you need in mutants. Let's go to the last uh, key monsters in our extra deck. Okay. Let's start the playtest. So, hand one. Draw. Mutant ST46. Draw. Guardian Iatos. Draw. Guardian Iatos. Draw. Mutant Cry. And draw. DDD Designator. Let's move that there. Okay, so with all of that, let's go through this hand. So, what are we going to do first? Well, since we control no monsters in our graveyard, we're going to special summon Guardian Iatos, respectively, right? And put them there, right? And so what is the first thing we're going to do? We're going to overlay these two, right? Because we're going to really need that. And we're going to be making, in defense mode, I gone see Kaistra. We're going to use its effect, obviously, um, if possible, right? To be able to um, target at random, target one monster uh, uh, card in the extra deck and banish it. Okay, then um, we are going to activate mute. Going to normal summon mutant st forty six. 
With this card's effect, what we're going to do is we're going to add a mutant spell or trap. So the mutant uh, uh, spell we're going to activate is Mutant Evolution Lab. Okay? Then we're going to activate it here. So I'll just move here to the field spell section. As you can see there, it is activated there. Let me go back to here. So Mutant Evolution Lab is activated. We then have a Mutant Cry. We're then going to set that down. I'm just going to go there and you see it's set. Quite convenient. And we'll just uh, continue there. And then uh, with the DD Designator, we will just keep it in our hand and end our turn. So this is one of the ways that you can end with your Mutant deck. Let's go to hand number two. Okay, let's do hand number two. Draw. Mutant, mutant. Draw. Mutant, mutant. Draw. Mythic water dragon. Draw. Emergency teleport. And finally, our fifth card will be DDD designator. Okay, with that being said, let's go into the hand. So what are we going to do first? First, we're going to um, Normal Summon, Mutant Mutant. We're going to activate its effect to banish um, Monster Rat. Take one card so it'll be a monster, so we'll banish this Mutant GB88. And then we will Special Summon the monster, this bad boy, Mutant Beast. Let's move that there. And obviously I'll have to pay, uh, you know, life points equal to Mutant Beast attack points, which as you can see there is 2400. Now why would I do this and get this out? Well, we're going to be activating the effect of this Mythic Water Dragon in our hand. Oh, you're going to see where this goes. So first of all, we're going to Special Summon Mythic Water Dragon. Why are we going to be able to do this? We're going to be able to do this because we control an Earth Monster. How convenient. So we're going to be able to special summon Mythic Water Dragon. So let's, um, you know, just zoom out a bit. And as you can see there, we're able to control Mythic Water Dragon and special summon it. We're then going to go into an overlay. And once again, without fail, we're going to make Igon see Kaistra. If we can just uh, make it there, so you can see it quite clearly. And so with the hand there, we can do several things. We are then going to be able to do emergency teleport to either special sub and M mutant M05 or mutant ST46. In this position, at this moment, I feel we should be special summoning. We will activate it, obviously. So activate it and put it to the graveyard there. And we're going to special summon um, a card that is really good is ST46. You know what? You know what that card does. That's going to allow us to add a mutant spell or trap. So we're going to add uh, mutant cry. We're not going to add that. And then, you know, we're going to set that. And obviously we have two cards in hand. And then we are going to be able to end our turn and do all manners of things. Okay, so let's go to the third test hand. Okay, and final test hand. Draw. Mutant. Mist. Draw. GB88. Draw. Emergency teleport. Draw. Emergency teleport. Draw. Mutant cry. Um, this is a hand which is going to be a bit different. So we're going to take it to the hand. We're going to doubly activate emergency teleport. Yeah, respectively. Both of them. Um, so each would summon M05 and SD46 respectively. So they go to the graveyard and from our deck, unless they've gotten ashed, we will be able to special summon SD46, as you can see there, and M05. Their effects respectively with M05, we're going to add Mutant Mutant, as you can see there. And with ST46, we're going to add Mutant um, Lab, okay? Which is pretty nuts. Right. We're then going to activate Mutant Lab. 
um, as you can see there. And if you remember, it is in our field spell section, as I'll go to it and you can see it there. And let's go back and just, you know, zoom, uh, you know, zoom in into that. So anyways, because we control a mutant, mutant will activate the effect of mutant, mutant in the hand and special summon it, right? But here's where things go a little bit different. We're going to activate the effect of ST46, you know, tribute itself to banish M05, right? So it's banished in order to special summon mutant beast, okay? So then what are we going to do? We're going to activate the effect of mutant, mutant, right? From, and this is allowing us to banish a spell, right? So we're going to be banishing a spell at this point in time. We're going to banish mutant evolution lab as I'll showcase here before we banish it. And then we're going to be uh, special summoning. No, maybe not lab. We're going to be banishing mutant cry, sorry. And then we're gonna be summoning um, mutant arsenal. And obviously af after the successful summon of mutant arsenal, we're gonna be losing 3000 attack points due to the effect of mutant mutant. That's quite a lot of damage. Um, so anyways, we'll then overlay these two, as you know, to make Old Reliable the one, the only, C. Kaistrom. Most of your ter first turns are going to end with this card on your turn. Um, so then you would set the Mutant Cry. Um, keep this in your hand. And pretty much you would uh, end your turn. And so that's essentially it. So those are the kind of boards you're going to be making with mutant mutant are they the best not really but that's what we've got to work with guys that's what we've got to work with we come to the end of this video so as i like to say you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh master my faith right is in your hands